Are we in? Oh, we're in. Oh, and we're extremely close to something. I think that was a Dinosuchus. But welcome back, guys, to the Isle. I'm so sorry that this has taken so long to pick up again. I know a lot of you guys are really enjoying the series. The reason for it, as I'm sure a lot of you guys are aware, the game's had some really big problems with, specifically for me, lag. And it seems like a server-wide issue because I've tried a few of them and... I mean, this is the best it's been so far. I am back on the uh, on the normal official servers again. It's only 45 right now, but people do leave when it's nighttime. So we'll see what we can make happen. I'm hoping that things have been fixed or the lag issues have been helped somewhat because it was almost unplayable. But, I mean, that happens from time to time. Whenever you bring updates along, sometimes it breaks things. We all know that. But we are being the Trudon today, which a lot of you guys have told me I should have some fun with. This guy is venomous as well. I believe this is supposed to be played in a group of Trudons, so you can take, like, bigger prey down, but we're going to be rolling solo today. I've really been enjoying this, guys. I really have. And again, thank you so much to everyone who's been showing love on this series. Again, I'm so sorry that it's taken so long to get back going, but it looks like things should be somewhat playable today. So let's continue the adventure. Right, let's smell. I am really going to try it, taking something down with the, uh, with the venom, but... I'm really not sure how much it takes to bring a dino down. So I may have to team up with other Trudons <laughs> if I do see them. If not, then, like I say, we are going to stay solo. Okay, I'm hoping that this is by the water and there's something on the edge. Even if it is, like, set up for a trap, I'm willing to take that risk because I want to get my belly filled. Yeah, it looks like it is. Just down at the sides over here. It could be in the water though a lot of you guys said that you can smell the food that's in the water if it's up if it's on the surface <laughs> get up get up get up i'm gonna be panicking in the water now everything's gonna be coming my way get up that little guy go <laughs> we're gonna get across oh this is like one of my favorite spots on the entire map looking for any of those heads just poking up on the top of the surface. It's probably going to come from below if <laughs> if I get destroyed by a dino right now. Are we okay? I think we're good. Alright, let's get away from the edge. It's the first hurdle that we've come across. Let's have a little smell. I'm pretty sure we're in the dead of night too, so we got quite a long time to kind of get through this. Yeah, there's, there's definitely something in there, but <laughs> I'm really not prepared to go searching through that water. Not with what I just heard when we we were first born back there. Oh, I should let you guys know as well. I did see the comments from when I was the Serato. And I was doing that kind of like thrashing thing around. I only did that, guys. Honestly, because I found it amusing. Like, that was just for me having a little bit of fun. But apparently a lot of you guys said if you do that, you can actually shake certain parts out of a carcass. Like lungs, hearts and things. And it will give you specific nutrients. So... Yeah, I'll absolutely do that today if I can find something to eat. But yeah, I'm just going to keep going in this direction. Let's see if we can find some food. Rodents, rabbits, frogs, the works. All right. It doesn't look like it's going to be much, but we got some bones, which I am happy to pick clean. What is it? Is that a Trudon? It's kind of the same size as me. I mean, can we eat that? Okay, no, it's not It's not really on our list. Rapid dehydration may vomit. Okay, I'm just going to eat this for the sake of getting something on our stomach. If it's going to give us anything. Yeah, there we go. It filled it up a tiny little bit. Yeah, there we go. And then I'm going to go down and try and risk it for something to drink. Because I don't want to be sick with this. I mean, I'm probably going to get sick now that I've eaten this. But it's a trend that I do. Every time I'm a new dinosaur, I think I actually actively go out here to try and get sick. <laughs> <laughs> like something I've done with almost every single dino that we've been. A lot of you guys were asking as well about the uh, the herbivores. If you guys do want to see that, then drop a like on this video. That way it'll be a clear indication that you guys want to see me mess around with some herbivores. Specifically, I think it's the stego and that old thagomizer <laughs> that you want to see me mess around with. This guy's growing really, really quick. Okay, wow. So we're already at 41%. So growth really isn't an issue with these things. I think if we go in towards the trees down here, I should have a little bit of cover. And I'm small enough that I don't think I'm going to draw too much attention. <laughs> Famous last words. Watch me get destroyed now. But yeah, the growth thing really isn't an issue. We're almost, yeah, we're almost approaching 50%. Okay, that's a good thing then. So maybe 
with us growing quick, I can look around and probably find some more Trudons. If they'll accept me as one of their own. If not, then we're going to live that solo Trudon life and I'm going to try and... Was that close? What time is it? Okay, we're approaching 10 o'clock. we still got a long way to go at night time, so... Let's get a little something to drink. And hopefully it'll help with the uh, the problem that we've got. Rapid dehydration may vomit. Why is that? Is it because of what I've eaten? Ooh. I don't know what I just saw. I think it might have been like the light changing, but that looked like a shadow moving. <laughs> okay, how are we looking? Rapid dehydration still. Okay, I guess I can stay near the water then so I can keep my, uh, my water topped up. But in the meantime, seems like we've got a little bit of, of night left. Oh, his coloration's coming out as well. I think you guys will be quite surprised with what colors I've gone with this guy. Again, usually sticking with like the light yellows, the grays and greens and stuff. I've gone with blue and like a dark browny gray on this one. I think he looks pretty cool. Okay, I just had to hold that thought for a second. I was going to take cover down in the bushes after having a drink and just wait out the night for a while. But I've just heard a chicken. And it wasn't far away, but it stopped, and I'm not picking up any scent of anything, so I think something gobbled it up. And I've seen it a few times where at night time, people will just lie in the bushes here, out in the open, because I think this is a good spot for food. Like, just small snacks and stuff, just to, to keep you going. I'm just gonna have a little look around this way. I have found, like, just random animals roaming around here a few times. I mean, you guys have seen it, like the goats and stuff. I believe I can eat boar too. Yeah, boar, Pachycephalosaurus, Tenonto, chicken, rabbit, compies, Omniraptor, goat, dry. Wait a minute. There's no, there's no frog or toad, whatever it was. Whoa. What was that? Oh, did I just throw up? Vomit sickness. I think that might have been a Serato. All right, I'm just going to have a little smell. I can definitely get rid of the vomit sickness. It's going to be a pain, but <laughs> like I said before, it's kind of what we do. <laughs> oh, look at that. We learned our lesson from when we were a Pteranodon. So we licked the rocks and it cured our, like, issue that we had, the sickness. That's really good. Nice. All right. Should be right around here. There we go. Let's see if anything's down there. I'm guessing this is going to be another ambush spot. But let's just get down here and see what we can make happen. If there's compies hanging around here, I could really, really do with taking one. Come on, you got to be close. Should we just roll in the mud? Oh, oh, got something there. Grab it. Yes! Okay. It's not on the menu. But it's food. And I'm not going to eat this thing out in the open. Look at the size of that thing to us, by the way. <laughs> oh, my God. That truly is a prehistoric frog. It's massive. Oh, there we go. So you hold left. Look at him go. Come on, do it again. Come on. <laughs> Thrash it around. Come on, do it. <laughs> Can we do it again? There it is. Okay, I don't know what's happening. Is there anything that... <laughs> <laughs> Should we drop him a sec? Is there anything there? Just fill up on what we can. I'm really in need of something to drink right now. So I think I just got to head back down towards the water. But that's really good that we discovered that. I think that is what we've got to do. I think I've got to tear the actual carcass open and then thrash so things fall out. I think that's the way it's going to work anyway. I mean, we can continue to do that, but I'm in a little bit of need right now of getting to the water before it's too late. So... Should we just bring this with us? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Look at us. Just running around with that absolutely yoked frog. <laughs> Trying to get down to the water before it's too late. Come on, keep going. I've just stopped for a second because things were freaking out a little bit. And I was hoping that I wouldn't glitch through the world. Like, whenever that happens, it does make me really, really nervous. So, I just wanted to devour the frog real quick and then... We don't have to worry about anything breaking. It's the last thing that you want, especially when you're growing a dino. Even if this guy doesn't take too long to grow, which right now we're at 71%. When you put time into growing these things, 
and you die by clipping through the world or something like that. Oh, it's so heartbreaking. <laughs> Yeah, the sprinting around while we're not doing so good is definitely increasing the bleed. So we're like down to 47 right now, which is fine. Because I'm at the water now and I can have something to drink and then just pretty much rest up for the remainder of the night, which is 2 o'clock in the morning. So that gives me like a good 6, maybe 7 hours worth of rest. So we should, fingers crossed, be okay here. <laughs> Gotta keep saying it though, aren't I? I'm gonna definitely jinx it by saying that. We're okay! And then out of nowhere, I'm gonna get destroyed by something. Oh, no, not now. Not now, no! Relax! Please! Let me just get to that water real quick. Come on. Drink. Ooh. I thought that was a Dino just coming out of the water there, but it's just, it's just those weird fish. Those land fish. We're almost full, though. Then we can get some rest. Okay. I am a little bit exposed here, but... I don't know. It looked cool when I saw it, so <laughs> I just decided to lay down on this log. So while I'm resting here for a little while and trying to get everything topped back up, I'm infertile again. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> while I'm resting here and just recovering, I'm going to show you guys something that the devs released, which they're calling the Living Roadmap. And a lot of you guys have asked me questions about dinos or playable dinos. I think this will answer a lot of them. So here it is. How cool is that? It really reminds me of like the Alien movies where you see Mother, the computer booting up on the Nostromo and like the old school, really mechanical feel of everything. I don't know. It just hits all the right places for me for showing like what they're working on, the different stages. And you could clearly see some of the assets that were in development. So hopefully that answers a lot of questions for you guys because I honestly couldn't really answer them not knowing myself. But yeah, this is a really cool way of doing it. I also did come down off of the log. <laughs> <laughs> there was something horrible back over in that direction. So, yeah, I just thought it's better safe than sorry. And we've come down here now. And we're just going to wait out the rest of the night, which is now 4.20 a.m. So a couple more hours. We should be good. I'm still probably going to be infertile. But oh, look at all these debuffs. Oh, my God. But, yeah, we're, we're almost grown. So hopefully we can cover some more ground, get some more food. I'm still going to mess around with that thrashing thing. See if we can get some organs and see if we can just get ourselves into a little bit of trouble. You guys know what we do by now. <laughs> Wait, what's this little thing here? Is this another mud pit? There's something here. Carno. Oh, no. I'm not even giving it the chance. Yeah, I don't care if that's a friendly call. <laughs> no, no, no. You could be the super friendliest Carno I've ever met. No, no, no. My track record with you guys, even though I loved playing as the Carno, I really, really did. It gave me like a, a different kind of mind when I was playing them. Yeah, my uh, my track record with Carnos <laughs> it just isn't good. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. I think that is like another mud pit though. We see him. Pretty sure that was a friendly call, too. 
Okay, I have to show you guys this. Look at that. Look how cool he looks. Oh, that blue. Oh, it's so nice. All right, there's a piggy over there, which I probably could attempt at taking down. Oh, okay, we're getting... Oh, yeah, we're not, we're not doing so good. I'm paying close attention to that top right corner, too. I'm on... <laughs> I'm on the EU servers right now, and it's 250 ping. We are going to try and power through it, though, because after a little while, it tends to die down, and then it gives me some time to, to get into my stride. There we go. It's come down. Is it going to shoot back up? I think it is. All right. I'm just going to stay on the lookout for a minute. If I... Any food? Oh, right now would be the worst time to be chased. <laughs> Please, not now. Yeah, everything's waking up. We got an earlier start, so we're ahead of everything. But yeah, I'm going to head this way. Okay, there we go. It's coming down a little bit. That's still incredibly high ping. Oh, don't do it, Stego. Okay, well, got a deer here. Oh no, this is so bad. I'm sure you guys would have just seen the footage. I really wasn't doing well. And then I came around this corner here and then I saw that there were two carcasses down. That over there is like a Serato or something. And this one here is, there we go. So everything has just disconnected. No, I want to see if I can get back in quick. Before we continue with today's adventure, I am very happy to say that the good people over at Manscaped are back once again to sponsor today's video. All they've asked me to do is let you guys know about some of their new products. So, introducing the Beard Hedge Pro Kit. Now, you may have seen some other Manscaped products on the channel before, but let's be honest, what is the point in trimming your balls if your face is looking like a f caveman or even tom hanks from castaway before he got rescued this is where you need the beard hedger trimmer which has a powerful 7200 rpm motor and the titanium coated t-blade which can cut through the thickest of hair in one single stroke it's waterproof cordless and rechargeable so you can trim in the shower to save time and create less mess whether you prefer a nice little five o'clock shadow or a long luscious lion's mane you can choose from 20 different hair cutting lengths with the zoom wheel that only uses one guard it's super easy to do the whole beard hedge pro kit includes the beard hedger the beard shampoo beard conditioner beard oil beard balm travel case and free gift so if this sounds like something you're interested in go to manscape.com today and get 20 percent off plus free shipping when you use the code fooster at checkout that's 20 percent off plus free international shipping with promo code fooster at manscape.com maybe if there's been like a bit of a reset or something that's going to keep everything running smooth but we badly need food i was so happy then so to give you guys a rundown of what happened because I know you probably saw the last kind of interaction that I had, which was with a Stego. I was really not doing good. I was just waiting around this area for something to come around, but I just happened to come up this side, and there were two carcasses. I think it was a Serato, and then there was a deer, and I was just having my fill with it, and then all of a sudden, everything just locked up. And I was trying to wait it out, but... Yeah, you guys just saw what happened. So I think there's been a bit of a, a server reset. 56. Okay, so we could probably do with just resting up a little bit. Oh, yes. Nice. Okay. Let's get up on the hill. Let's try and eat this so we've at least got something on our stomach. Don't hit me with that thagomizer. Don't you do it. <laughs> See, I know. I feel like this is a bait. I know if I jump onto that thing and try and put my venom in it it's just gonna get up on one hit man let me let me see if i can bait <laughs> we're gonna do it ah! oh let's go <laughs> oh that's actually a lot of fun 
Whoa. I think it sees me here. Yeah, I think it does. <laughs> Look at his head. I really want to do that again, though. That was cool. Ever since I found out you can do that with the Raptor, that's like one of my favorite things. Being able to pounce like that. Let's see. Yep, there we go. I knew it. Yep. You took the bait. I mean, I know there's no way I can take this thing down. I think this would... Whoa! Okay. Oh, my God. Okay, I deserve that. I definitely deserve that. I was about to say, I'm guessing it's going to take like a an army of Trudons to take a stego down. I did hear some raptors coming in too, and I don't want to be around when they're nearby. So <laughs> let's keep going this way. Wait, are we bleeding pretty bad? Okay, yeah, we're not doing so good. Let's just get away from this area and then... Is that piggy there? I thought that was a Serato for a second. Okay, everything's up now. <gasps> no. no. Everything has kind of calmed down for a second. I did go back there looking for the bunny, but <laughs> there was no sign of it. I saw a... Uh, like a brief glimpse of one behind me then, and it gave me that false hope that it might be in the area, but it wasn't. Got to be something here, though, right? Unless it's just what was left behind. No, no, we've got something here. <gasps> Serato. Is it taking cover? see if he comes out. I saw where he was. It's just bones. Come on, eat. I hear something running. That's a Kano. I'm going to drag the Kano over this way. Look. Over here. Look. <laughs> Come over here in this bush. Look. <laughs> Come and get this. Come here. Oh no! I'm back! No! <laughs> I should have known. I should have absolutely known that would happen. I was trying to bait the carnival with the Serato. <laughs> oh, that's 100% on me. Come on. Get it. You've almost got it down. Come on. Keep attacking those ankles. Keep going. Come on. <laughs> Go down there, please. I need this meal. You have no idea the pain that I've been through. There's been no food. My brain has been lagging for hours. Please, just go down. It's only fair. Oh, no, and you're gone again. I've got to have done some damage to it, though. What's my bite now? Okay, 2.7. So it's way better than it was before. So we're definitely doing a little bit more damage than we were. Yes! Oh, we got it! Oh, wait, is this going to make me sick now? I don't even care. I managed to take a deer down as a baby Trudon. Yes! Okay. That took so incredibly long, but... Oh, I'm going to have my spoils. Yes. So it can be done then. You definitely can take something down. I mean, I, <laughs> I don't know about other dinos. This took, I'd say, a good 10 minutes to actually drop. And I don't know if... Did the, did the venom actually do anything or was it just the biting? Because I know the more I've been growing that this has been going up. So, oh, you know what? Even if this does make me sick right now, I do not care. The fact that I was able to take it down is such a huge relief because <laughs> there were times where it's just turning around looking at me. I was like, yeah, no, it's not doing anything, is it? Oh... <gasps> Oh, hey. No, don't you do it. No. Do you know what? I'm going to make a call. Oh, it's the Trudon that makes that noise. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, these things can be very, very annoying at night time. I have become the thing that I was annoyed by when I was a Serato. This was all I could hear. For so incredibly long. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, no, that's one of those, like, babies or whatever they're called. They're basically like ducks. <laughs> they're really good swimmers. Let's get over this way. I'm not going over there. I saw what you tried to do. Oh, that 
That's such a cool sound. I'm gonna make another call. No! I see him! He's coming! No, nope, I'm not doing it! Oh, this is gonna get me killed. Oh, no! Oh, yeah. I think it's over for us. Wait, what's happened? If that thing jumps in here now, I... Yep. Yeah. Oh, no! No, look at him go! <laughs> So quick! Oh no! Get to the shore! It's my only chance! Please! Oh, he's so close! Go! <laughs> I think my legs broke. We're gonna try and get into the cover. <laughs> oh my god! There's no way I'm gonna get killed off this thing. Oh, wait, he's in front! This is like a horror movie now. They're everywhere. Keep going. so silent. Okay, we're only about half health. I can still put some distance in between us and them. Wait a second. I actually fractured my leg off the side of that weird structure that I jumped off into the water then. While I was chasing that deer before, I was jumping almost vertical drops off of way higher things. So I wonder what happened then. Either way, I've got to rest up and recover because <laughs> this was like down to here a second ago. And they were definitely closing in, so... Yeah, I'm just hitting a bush right now. Doing my best to survive. <laughs> I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Don't you dare run towards that water. No, you don't. Yes! Okay, right. So I'm just going to give it a second. Whoa. What was that? Was that me? Has it got venom in it? I <laughs> I really don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for. Is that... Like, there's something going on with the front of it there. Is that just the bite mark from me, maybe? Let's do it again. Whoa! <laughs> okay. That looks a little bit broken. I'm just going to keep biting it, then. We got it, though! Nice! I really don't know. Is, is that, like, a sign of the venom? Like, the dark patches? Or is that just the deer? Either way, that is another meal. It's not on our menu, and if we get sick, I can kind of just brute force it where I just keep eating and drinking. We're surviving. That is the main thing, but yeah, I definitely need to get a better diet going on. I'm just not seeing anything. Back where we came from before, there was the sound of a couple of chickens, but I just couldn't see any of them. Oh, compies, come here. Yes! Oh, I need you. Okay, so seeing as though I've got the combi here, I'm kind of out in the open, but I'm willing to risk it. Let's just go. <laughs> I absolutely love that, by the way. <laughs> it's one of my new favorite things. I don't know what I'm supposed to be getting out of this, but when I, <laughs> when I actually do the thrash, let's do it again. Come on, go. Go. <laughs> That's so good. I'm not really seeing anything spilling out, though. Yeah, I'm definitely doing something wrong with that. Either way, that is so much fun. It's too big to swallow. No, it's not. I could definitely be choked down. Right, let's eat this then. This should be on our menu. Is that just one bite? No, there we go. we got a couple more. Oh, and there's the nutrients that we need, too. Okay, how are we looking? And let's just stop for a second. So... We've got like 14% of that nutrient left. We are running a poor diet right now. So although we've got like a couple of buffs, for the majority, we've got a lot of debuffs. Look at that, minus 63% growth rate. So good job that we're back up to 100 again. <laughs> but right now, I'm just kind of winging it and following a kind of north-northwest bearing. Because I've not really come across any... There's a load of noise over that side. But it is kind of moving this way. So <laughs> I'm just trying to follow along with where everyone's moving to and i'm thinking roughly off where i've moved which is kind of circled all the way back around that way this should be if i'm not mistaken this should be the center so i'm gonna keep following that northwest bearing and i'll bring you guys back if i'm right or i guess if i'm wrong and we'll see where we end up it shouldn't be too long till morning either yeah we're right on the doorstep of 6 a.m so yeah, this shouldn't take too long until we see some daylight. <laughs> I'll bring you guys back in a few minutes. 
Look how cool that looks. <laughs> Damn, this engine is something else. It really is. I mean, it looked good before, but look at that. With the shadows. I know you guys just heard that then. It seems like they're everywhere around this spot. And this has, like, been the first time in a minute that I've been able to, to sniff out something. So what could that be? Boar, Pachycephalosaurus, or a Tenonto. I guess I'm just going to keep heading in this direction then. It sounds like I've got raptors over to my right, behind me, and coming from my left. I've not heard anything towards this way yet, but that might mean that they're hunting whatever I'm going towards. So <laughs> let's just stay quiet. <gasps> no way. What just happened? Did I just do exactly what the dinosaur that died here did? No way. Oh. I've just come so close to death. I can hear the flies too, so that means that body is right in front of me here. You can see it on the scent marker at the top. Oh my god. Oh. There was no way of me knowing there. I mean, this guy is so quick anyway. You're bound to make some mistakes at some point, but... All things considered, I got really lucky there. I found the carcass. At first, I thought it was a raptor because of, like, the shape of its head and stuff, but if you look at that big, thick tail at the back there, that's definitely a Tenonto. So we're going to get the nutrients that we need from this. Look at the size of that thing compared to me, by the way. <laughs> that is so insane. These things would have no problem with destroying me if I got too close to them. So let's fill up on this. This has actually really worked in my favor because I got lucky with the fall there. I'm able to get a really good meal out of it. And that's the way I've really been playing this. I've been playing it like the ultimate scavenger. <laughs> Just trying to pick anything that crosses my path. Or trying to take advantage of something, which that is like the perfect example of right there. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's so good. All right, let's just slow down a little bit. I don't want to go charging off the edge. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's not a big drop. Ooh. Oh, that's so cool looking. So what, this is just like a, a dried up lake bed or something? Again, that still blows my mind, the fact that I've still not explored all of this map yet. And I've been a fair few places, especially when I was the Tyrannodon. But some of the things... You have to really appreciate from the ground level like this. This is actually pretty dangerous for me, but I don't care. I do want to see what's around here. Yeah, there's no, it's no surprise that dinos just fall to their death. Look at that. There's so much green up there. that You feel like if you're following the river or something, you just turn left a little bit and you're straight off the side of these cliffs. Look at that. It's one hell of a fall too. All right, let's just keep going down this way then. I think this might be... Where I was trying to get to before. Oh no, it's kind of going... It's going more towards the south. But I guess I'm just going to follow it round. Is this the rocks that you can lick? To get rid of the uh, the sickness? Yep. So the, the kind of red-pink markings that we saw before is that. That's kind of how the rocks stand out. So you know. I mean, I'm not really sure if you can see that at night time. But that's a dead giveaway in case you guys are new to the game. This is such a cool area, though. I don't know if this would be... Yeah, no, probably not. I was thinking more along the lines of a Dino, like a full-grown Dino, just to scare the ever-living shit out of something. If you just lay down here as a full-grown Dino and then something wanders through, just doing what we're doing. Oh, look at this. So cool. And then <laughs> there's a full-grown Dino. Oh, give me that, please. Oh. Come here. No. Oh, my... How can I not? Yes! Right. Grab it. No, no. Oh, wait. No way. Is it too big for me to pick up? I'm just going to eat it. There's a Dino super close to my left here. I'm just going to devour this thing so I get all the nutrients from it. Oh, Trudons! I'm going towards him. So I was about to tell you guys, we got some really good news. And that is, we found 
what I was looking for. The sensor. Oh, no. These guys are so far away. Are you all the way down there? I'm going to do another call. Are they being chased by something? Oh, what have you got there? Oh, is it like a whole family of dinos? <laughs> that thing would love to snack on me. Oh, is that Stego? That is 100% a Stego. What's he doing? Is that the Stego from before? There's no way. I mean, I'm still on the same server, so... It could be. That's another Stego. And that one just lay down. I'm just going to have my fill while I can. <laughs> I mean, I'm living that scavenger life right now, so why not? I've not heard or seen the Trudons. The other ones that were close by, they ran off into the, uh, the bushes over there, so I just let them go. Wait. Hey! Oh, wait a second. I think they might be in this bush. That's a friendly call. I love poison dino. I would, oh, look at you. Hey. <laughs> I got some more Trudons nearby. Are they going to try and poison me or something? There we go. Okay, I'm part of a group again. Oh. Wait, are they going after this? Get him! Whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're really, really lagging now. Oh, yeah, this is where it's going to be a problem. I mean, I wanted to get into trouble, and this is absolutely something that we should be doing. Oh, there's, oh, there's a whole family of them. <laughs> oh, no. Run away. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. Raptor just perched at the top. I wonder if we could take... Ooh, that raptor dipped super quick when he heard that. Maybe going behind the hill to see if he can get a look at us, but I don't know. Maybe we could be a bit of a nightmare for raptors if there's a handful of us and just one of them. I mean, we're fast enough. And, like, nimble enough to be able to to possibly get away from an attack. But, I don't know. They've got a serious bite force compared to us. What's mine again? 15? <laughs> and this is... Yeah, this is an adult now, too. Okay, my only goal right now... Ooh! Is to do that. Is to pounce on a raptor. I need to... I'm doing it. I don't care. I'm doing it. 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 Oh, I'm doing it! Yes! Oh, bite! Oh, wait. What? Wait, what's... What? What's happened? Did I just get killed off lag? I have no idea what just happened. Like, no idea. A ghost looked like it pinned me down then and all of a sudden a raptor appeared. I definitely got that first one. And back to being a teeny tiny Trudon again. I've got to be honest, this was a lot of fun and you can absolutely survive on your own solo. You kind of have to play that scavenger life just to get what you can, especially with the way things are right now. I will say the constant like glitching and lagging is really brutal on the ice, so I think this is where we're going to end it. But playing the Trudon, I think, is intended to be played as a group. So if you can team up with others, like you just saw back there with the Serato, you can definitely become a headache. And then once that Venom kicks in, I'm sure you can really have some successful hunts. But for now guys this is where we're going to end it let me know down in the comments which one you want to see next hopefully by then things will have changed things will be patched and fixed up so we don't have that constant hitching and glitching effect but yeah if you are enjoying the isle series please drop a like on the video subscribe to keep up to date with everything and as always i'll see you all in the next one